Okay, the purpose of this short video is to show you how you can use the Excel chart wizard to create a graph using data that you have previously entered in Excel. So the data that I'd like to, uh, to use for my graph is already entered in Excel. The first thing that I need to do is to actually select the data. Now that I've selected the data, I'm going to click on the chart wizard. The first step that I need to do is to choose the type of graph that I would like to draw. In this case, I'd like to draw a column graph and I'm quite happy with the format that has been um, selected. So I'll click on Next. I can very quickly check that yes, this does look like the type of graph that I'd like to draw, so I'm on the right track. I click on Next. This next screen is probably the most important one. This is where we get to choose titles and labels and we also get to choose whether the, the legend appears on the graph. Now the first thing we're going to fix up is the legend. The legend is this thing here. We don't actually really need it there, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, next thing I need to fix up is the titles. The chart title, instead of reading what is your favourite TV show number of students, I'd like it to just say what is your favourite TV show. So I'm going to delete number of students. Okay, now um, the category x-axis, that's the label that's going to appear across the x-axis. I'd like it to read favourite TV show. And the category, the value y-axis, that's the label that's going to appear along the y-axis. So I'd like that to read number of students. Now what's really important is that if you had any units that needed to be included in these labels, you'd have to make sure that you enter them here in brackets. Okay, but in this case there are no units. So I'll just click on Next. Now I'd like my graph to appear as an object in Sheet 1, so I click on Finish. And there we go, that's my graph all ready to go. There is one little problem though, some of the columns don't actually have names at the moment. And that comes down to the size of the graph. So if I resize the graph, what I will find is that all the labels will actually appear. So um, we can see now that all the labels actually appear and it's possible for me to read what the, um, what the labels correspond to.